worst nightmare at Pink's All Out is rain. Unfortunately, we got a lot of it in Memphis. Buckets out of the clouds. The water actually flows out of the ditch yep. and into the track. Dude, it's just endless, isn't it? The amount of water. I think the wind's picking up and it's blowing this through a bit, so I think we might be able to have a good yeah, three, I mean, four hours. But there's another front, huge front behind it. I think there's going to be a few hour window, so we try to get it done. It began with old school drag racing for pink slips. We're doing this for title. A best two out of three quarter mile drag race. Frustrations mounted. You want a fast car? There's no rocket science in this thing. I'm Mr. Nitrous. Come Get on. your car out here. Run it all out. All Out was bored. Sandbagging is not allowed in this show. Now, as many as 500 grassroots racers battle the odds, mechanical meltdowns, and each other for their shot at fame and glory. Qualifying times are recorded, and a field is selected to face off in a final nose-to-nose -nose heads up competition for cash and prizes. There's just one rule. Run your car all out. And at the end of a very long day, there can only be one Pink's All Out Champion. All right. Hey, everybody, good morning. The mantra for today is the show must go on. Oil downs and weather determine how we can do a show. I can only apologize so much for the weather, but now we gotta get down to it and try to make something happen. We're already way behind. So you have to do your part on being double ready to get up to the line, get staged, and get down that track. Run all out, that's all you need to do. We got a crappy day. Let's have fun, have fun. Let him roll! From puss brooms to pickup trucks, the cleanup in Memphis begins. What happens when thousands of gallons of water hits the track? The cleanup is massive. That's a lake out there. What we've got to do is we've got to get these electronics dry. Oh, yeah? And with floating minimum. Pure and simple. Get the water off the racetrack so we can send cars down. Racers, myself included, we just want to hurry up and drive. Let us drive. That's all we want to do, drive the car. Fingers and toes crossed that we'll be able to get some runs in today. We came here to drag race our cars. We're not here for a mud bog. Drag racing, not mud bog. <laughs> it sucks. We should be able to get one round of anything. If we get down a track, get some heat on it, get some cars going, we should go into the arm drop. So today they get one run, arm drop, no time slip. Putting yourself in one qualifying spot is really, really hard to do. Doing it with one run, sometimes it's impossible. They're gonna have to do it in one run today. Got no choice, you know. At Pink's All Out Memphis, we had a little run in with Mother Nature. The water table is so high here, it's actually coming. Oh, no way. Hold up. It's right. The diehard fans, ladies and gentlemen, they're waiting anxiously. Every piece of equipment possible, including a jet engine mounted onto a car hauler. That's basically what that is. A blow dryer on steroids, if you will. What that does, throw down an immense amount of heat on the track, hopefully helps us get some of this water off so we can run all out. Yeah, this is amazing. That, I'm gonna tell you, that was a moat out there. It was actually it was about two feet deep. They've had the pumps running nonstop here for the last, what, four or five hours? Look at this track, it's starting to dry. We're gonna race. Once we got the standing water off, buddy, the sun come out, Mother Nature took a hold, and we've got a dry racetrack. We're trying to get everything, timing system, heck hooked up, track prep, and cars are in the lanes. We're ready to rock and roll here in just a few minutes. Hey, folks, let me just take a second to welcome you to Pink's All Out! Coming up next on Pink's All Out. Oh, the Mopars are looking good, brother! And later... Hey folks, 
Let me just take a second to welcome you to Pink's All Out! Yeah! All right, at Memphis Motorsports Park, we're hours behind schedule. The track conditions are ready, and I gotta tell you, these guys, these racers, these drivers are stoked, they're nervous, they're fired up, they're gonna do one thing for you, and that is... Pink's All Out! Baby! For most of the day, all the action on the track has been guys pushing the brooms and tractors driving up and down the lanes. Finally, that's about to change. It's time to get racing with the floating minimum round of qualifying. Each two cars that pull up are going to get a time. If you don't go faster than the time, you're going home. Run all out. That's all you need to do. And paints all out, there's something called the floating minimum. Not only do these racers have to go against Rich's arm drop, they have to beat the time that's on the clock. What that means, the racers have to be perfect. Well, I keep you up with all the action on the starting line. Top field champion and hometown hero, Clay Milliken, along with Ken Herring are out in the pits talking to all the drivers. Up in the war room, Brian and Kel, with the help of the lovely speed girls, are busy logging and verifying the elapsed times of all the cars racing today. <laughs> Oh, he's going home. Yeah. yeah. Pushing him. Pushing him, Rich. And three. And three on that car. Have you ever run on an arm drive before? Never have. Never have. What you gonna watch? I'm gonna watch his shoulders. Take I like shoulders. for watching TV. Watching TV. You've been, you've been hitting the tree, so to speak. Yeah. Practicing on yeah. television. Right. The weather's cleared up. Finally. What do you think about all this today? Hey, this is a total experience. We went from total sad this morning and thinking we were gonna pack up and go home, and now we're gonna go racing. So that's the ultimate right there. What made me stop right here, right now? Because I told you I wanted to run you. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a pass yesterday, obviously, or so. Right. What do you one. think about just getting one pass today? Uh, I can live with it. Going to have to. Talking trash is a good way to get off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Black John Force. <laughs> <laughs> this one's going to be purely for me. <laughs> oh, just made it. After this morning's downpour, who would have believed there was actually going to be racing today? But everybody here in Memphis worked hard to make sure the show must go on. And on it is. The qualifying today was crazy. The racers should be proud of the show they're putting on for all these nutty fans. That is it for his qualifying. Thank you for hanging with me. You're part of Pink's All Out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now comes the tough part. Choosing the 16 car field. We're talking about the class I've always wanted to do, which is a nine second yeah, class. Guys, like nine seconds. We're talking the fastest class, even with the rain that we've had. The majority of these guys here, they're racing completely out of their pocket. Okay, Brian. These guys are not only fast, but they're good at what they do. They stay exact. In this particular case, with a high nine second class, they can deal with the changing track conditions. Track ended up being pretty good today, so the, the high nines are, are where it's at. Weather and everything, this has been a challenging day. So let's not wait any longer. Let's let these guys know that they're in, and let's race. Today in Memphis, we battled Mother Nature to get an exciting round of the floating minimum and arm drop qualifying. Tonight, with clear skies overhead, a wicked fast group of 16 diehard grassroots racers are about to compete for the gold and the glory and the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to become a Pink's All-Out champion. Your Pink's All-Out Memphis 16!
coming up next on Pink's All Out. Oh, Brian, was it good? Too fast. Yeah! And later. Yeah! Oh! Did he break? the Memphis Peaks All Out, we battled a torrential rainstorm and a flooded racetrack to get an exciting round of the floating minimum and arm drop qualifying. That is it. You're part of Peaks All Out. Now 16 hardcore racers are going to put the pedal to the metal and try to win $18,000 in cash and prizes. Please welcome your Peaks All Out Memphis 16. Good job, boys. Good job, excellent. Good job, boys. <laughs> Fun, huh? I'm giving you guys a chance to shine. And that's what you have the chance to do here is shine. You'll go double time to your car as you pull up. Doesn't matter who's next to you. Don't jump my arm drop. Get to the finish line first. If you go too fast, you're going home. Tonight, you have a chance to experience something extraordinary. We have nothing more to say. Jump in your cars. Give me everything you got, and boys, let's race. Come on. All right, the All Out 16, the first opportunity for a lot of these racers puts some money in their pocket. It goes from 16 to 8, then to 4, then to 2, then somebody gets the bragging rights as Pink's All Out champion. I mean, this is just what, like I said, it's what drag racing is about. Just an all, all out, see what you can do, run what you broke. It's great. Well, I just come off a, a major crash in uh, October where I broke my back. And this is my first race back. It, I can't say, this is awesome. Rock and roll. Nine seventy, nine ninety. Good race. We're gonna win it tonight. We're gonna take the toolbox home with us and the ten thousand dollars. I think he might have got me a little out of hope and kind of fluttered just a little bit right before we hit you know, into high gear. I'm a little disappointed, but at least I can get beat by Mopar. You know, hey. Michael, good job, my brother. Congratulations. Okay. Remember, they have $1,000. You can use that money and parlay that money. But remember, it's all about trying to make it into the all-out four. We got a street car at home, a 67 Charger. We got that car back in the 80s when I was in high school, and uh, we wanted to build a drag car. So why not build the same body style? Nobody runs these cars, and that's the neatest part about it. This past Saturday, turned the transmission up. I pulled the transmission on uh, Sunday, built it Monday, put it in Tuesday, and we left Wednesday. Send me on those. Perfect. This is awesome, baby! Yeah, I'm just elated. I'm happy to be here. You guys put on a kick butt show. You really do. Been running the numbers all day. Everything's been really consistent. We got out of the groove a little bit. And with these caliber drivers, it uh, one little mistake, and you're just over. These cars are running so close. It don't take but just a few hundreds, and that's the difference between a winner and a loser. All right, buddy. Here he comes. Hey, buddy. Good job, bud. Bud man, Dickerson. Good job, man. Listen, you got to be careful with that towing. If you tow it back and you slow us down, you will be disqualified. Never dreamed in a million years. We've been working on a bus. We loaded the car in a bus. We wired the lights up the day we left. We built, yeah, I've got a school bus. This is in it. You know, it's hard to believe that you get picked out of that many cars. And I really, you know, pretty thrilling to, you know, hear your number call. We got us a Lenco car right here, four speed, so it'll be fun to watch. All good, real close though, real close, but it's good. He's right on the edge, but he's moving on. <laughs> you know what you just did, don't you? I don't know, I just won. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that's a blast. We leaked hard and went a little bit to the left, and that gave him enough lead, I never could catch him. I've been racing long enough, you get over it. <laughs> you can't go home and kick the car and everything. <laughs> 
It's a million dollar smile there, Jer. Yeah. yeah. There you go, buddy. There's a thousand dollars. So indescribable right now. I just kind of numb. I've dreamt about doing this for so long, ever since Pink started doing it. I just can't believe we got in the 16. That last qualifying pass on it was just only the second pass this year. And I didn't even know if it was going down the track straight. Beautiful. Dude. Coming up next on Pink's All Out. Yeah! Oh! Close. Stop, wait! And later. Memphis Motorsports Park, we've experienced everything from a torrential rainstorm to 320 cars ripping down the track. And right now, we're in the middle of the Pink All Out 16, and something has gone terribly wrong in the race between Troy Bachman and Steve Hoke. Whoa, look at the left lane, dude. No part of the left lane is out. He was out of the gate first. Looked like he had everything set. It just quit. All right. Man, how does it feel? I love it. It's great. <laughs> I was just hoping we didn't go too fast. The other car fell off or something. I didn't know what happened. Man, the thing stood up hard. Part of the hardest wheel stand is done. Went right out there perfect. Got out about mid-track and just shut off. Lost fuel pressure and broke the crank mandrel off. Shut the motor down, hit the track. Didn't know, didn't really know exactly what happened until he handed it to me down here. All right, Steve. Good job, my boy. Here's a thousand dollars for your trouble. Oh. Appreciate you making it this far. Try to make it into the four. It's awesome. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was going to happen. I've loved drag racing my life, and it just, uh, I felt like I really accomplished something. You know, we have rebuilt it, had it about two and a half years, and been racing. Only run eight for a mile. Only quarter mile we've been is for pinks. So. Good race. 29.9 inches, 0 0.01. Wow, Dan, you won that one by the length of a fender. All right, I can't contain myself. It's a Mopar. A Mopar's making it into all out eight. All right, buddy, listen, congratulations. Right. You're representing all Mopar people in the world. You know that. Awesome, man. I've tried three times. I want this bad, real bad. It'd be cool to see a Mopar win this thing. I met you before, and tell us how we know you, man. Uh, it was from the Pink Saw out at Gateway. 10.30 class went, we went home. We're in this time. We're gonna put it on them. 528 cubic inches right here, baby. in the right lane is a win. He's another one we're watching. Me and you gonna be arguing over parents. Can't believe it. Tried out three times and I finally get in and now I'm here, I'm winning. Didn't have enough for him. The car run fine, it's been running in the high 70s. I think this was like a lower 70s to a higher 70s, so I was on the bottom of the ladder. It's bittersweet because, I mean, we're here. We made it, we're on the show. How many people out of 450 get to say that? Us 16, so it was all worth it. Here comes Larry. Mopar number two. Larry, good job, buddy. Here's $1,000 for your trouble. Good job, my friend. And you Mopars are getting it done tonight. 1985 Ford Mustang. I've had it probably since 1993 or 94. Battle of Wild, yeah. Not a nervous cat in the cold rocking chairs. <laughs> Just all nerve right now at the moment, so. $35,000.
G is a good one. <laughs> one down. One down. One down. Run it all the way to the final. He got me on the big end. Just could drill it in. A little faster. I lost <laughs> to Ford. <laughs> Yeah, I drive a Chevy. So the crowd wants to know, is this a Ford or is this a Chevy? What is it, my friend? It's a Ford with a Chevy motor in it. The best thing that could have happened to us. You can't even put it in words how bad I want this. This is going to be mine. I want it bad. I'm ready. I don't think, I can't think of a drag racer one that can't use $10,000. <laughs> Left lane win, 2-2-3. Two, two, I love it. This is as good as it gets, isn't it? As good as it gets, I promise. Man, I never expected this. I hit the arms, and I think I had them on the tree, and we just didn't have enough on the top end. About a half a door. It is what it is. That's racing. All right, David. Here's $1,000, sir. Thank you. Good, thank you, my friend. Thanks for being part right. of the show. Hope you're having a good time. These are your pinks all out eight. Now we're going to be running the Pink's All Out 8, where you get to know a little bit more about the racers, their cars, and their teams. One matchup that I think would be fantastic is Budman and right here, the 70 Dodge. I'm down with that. Race. OK? Yep. I, those cars are so closely matched. All right. It is purely going to be off Bridges on drive. Buddy, tell me about your car, about your crew, about your whole thing. What you got going on? Uh, 66 Dodge Charger. You realize it's a Mopar? I do realize All right, good. Because I, 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 it's a Mopar. I knew it when I saw you pull it in today. Larry, tell me about your crew. Tell me about your car. 70 Dodge Challenger. The wife. Kara. The wife. Troy. Larry, I'm going to ask you to step aside and see if your wife wants to bet this money. <laughs> All right, so you want to go 500 in? All right, will you match the wife's money, buddy? 500, 500. All right, it's a $500 bet. Good, good, good. This is Mopar versus Mopar. Shake hands, fellas, and let's race. Come on. Nice boy. It's a lot of money riding on this, but the more relaxed you are, the better you're going to drive this race car. Yes, I do. Two big Mopars. They're strapping in right now. How you feeling, bro? Pretty good, man. You ready to go? I'm ready. Let's see some burnouts, boys. Come on. Second there. Hold it up, Rich. Hold up. Stop! Wait! One step closer to that new challenger. 69, 79. Final four. I'm there. Brian, was it good? Next on Pink's All Out. Let's reconfirm that one. Uh-oh. And later. Here at Memphis Motorsports Park, we're in the middle of the Pink's All Out 8. But there's some confusion on the track over whether or not Larry Rose's Dodge Challenger ran too fast. Ooh, close. Stop, wait. 69, 79. Too fast. It was too fast. No good. Yeah! That was too fast. I went off the original number. That was too fast. Too fast. No good. Yeah! Bud, we'll be moving on. Uh-oh. Man, ran it all out every time to the floor. You're saying you ran too fast. Felt like the same pass as last time. I don't know. He picked up almost two and a half to three tenths. Three fifth tenths faster this time than yes. last time? Wow. 
960. Cars never ran that. It's always 70s. So, 180G is the actual winner. You know you're the winner? I did not know that. You I know why? Winner. No, tell me, please. 180G, 66 Charger, Bud Man moves on. Your competitor <laughs> just picked up three tenths. Oh, and that's why he was two car lengths ahead of me at the finish He's line. He's going home, and Buddy. Yes! <laughs> yeah, I said I ran too fast. It's a heartbreaker. Cars hook good. I don't want to go back and face the crew. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a long ride home. Ken Herring, Clay Milliken, Willie B are pairing the vehicles. I say we put the truck and the truck together. I say we put the S10s together. Yeah, I agree. You get with that? And I like that, just simple for the fact these are two really fast trucks. Yeah. Michael, tell me about your ride. Tell me where you're from. Tell me about your team. 82 S10. Yep. 400 small block motor in it. Nice. Buddy, Jeff Harmon, brother, Greg, Danny, Tony. The car's running well, you're feeling good? Feeling good. Great. All right, David, tell me about your car, your team, where you came from. All right, it's an 89 S10 pickup, 440 cubic inch small block Chevy. Uh, come from England, Arkansas. It's my wife, Dot. Hey, Dot. James. Roger. When you woke up this morning, did you think you'd make it into the All Out 8? Never thought it would. Well, this is your moment. This is your time. Now it's about the money. It's a $500 bet only. So, Michael, what would you like to do? I got five. You got five right in your hands right there. David, you want to match it? We'll do it. It's an All In bet. Yeah. All right, boys. Great job at this Ambassadors of Racing. Please shake hands. Best of luck. Double time your cars and let's race. All Out. Run everything she's got, see if I can do it. We're gonna beat them off the line, tree them, that's what we call it. We're gonna lay it to them. Are you nervous? Oh, always nervous. Wouldn't do it if I wouldn't. Fire these things up, let's go racing! feet. Yeah! Final four! All the way this time. Man, I think I was a little bit late out the gate and maybe short shifted the truck a little bit. So my fault and can't blame nobody else. Oh, I'm sick. I never expected to be this far into it. And you know, man, once you get to the finals, you plan on going all the way, you know. Hey Michael! Good job, buddy. There you go. There's nothing to talk about. You're in the fourth. That's where you need to be. You better win, because that's going to put you in the finals, OK? Let's do the Corvette and the Mustang. I'm on it. 302, Steve. You know, Steve, congratulations, man, for getting here. We don't have many Corvettes make it this far in the competition. So tell me about the car, where you're from. 68 Corvette. I've yep. had it for 30 years. Wow. Uh, right after graduating high school, bought it. Got my buddy Rob hey, and Rob. Angie over here. Yes. Hey, Wally, man, good job. Tell me about the hybrid. Uh, this is the new hybrid. It's a Ford with a Chevy engine. Yeah. Tell me about your team, where you came from. I come from Greenville, Mississippi. Okay. I brought my lovely wife with me, my brother Mike, and my two partners right here. Right. It's an 85 Ford Mustang with a big block Chevrolet in it. OK. Ford makes it, Chevy shakes it. Let me <laughs> It's a $500 bet. No more, no less. If you want in, you want in. If you want out, you want out. Steve, what do you want to do? I'll go in. He'll go, go in. Go you go in? All right. It's an all-in bet. 500 bucks. I'll take the money. This is for a spot. In the pinks, all out four, it's a $500 bet. Gentlemen, shake hands, double time into your cars, good luck, and let's race. Good job, boys. It's the worst time to be talking to a driver, and if anybody knows, it's me. But you know what, the car's running good? You yep. feel good? I love, yeah, feel great. A chance at the all out four. You ready? I'm ready. You feel good? I feel good. But this mixed up car here, you is just rolling, <laughs> buddy. You are rolling. Let's fire them up.
Perfect race. 134G, right lane, confirmed. Final four. Final four. Mississippi. Mississippi's in the house. He just got to jump on me and stayed about a car length all the way down the track. I did everything I could and just couldn't catch him back. A little disappointed, yeah, a little depressed. But you know what? Just getting in here, getting past the first round, that was awesome. All right, Wally. Congratulations, you made it to the four. Go on back. Get service. Good job. Good job. So obviously that leaves the Pontiac 167 and then the Mopar. Jared, tell me about your team. Tell me about your car. Where'd you come from? Magazine, Arkansas. Magazine, Arkansas. Yeah, town about 930. Yep. Tell me about your team. Tell me about your car. Danny Cameron, Cole for Stafford, my son. Daryl Cole, my wife. It's a 1967 Firebird. We're just having a blast. All right, good. Dan, tell me about your car, your team. 71 Dodge Challenger. I got yep. my dad, my mom, my I friends, my little brother. Fun. They're all here. How old are you? I'm 23. Did you think that you'd make it this far tonight? Oh, and you know you treat me. You guys want to throw a little money in the game? Man, it costs us a fortune to get here. OK. It costs you all that money to get here. At the very least, you go home with $1,000. Yeah. I think it's smart. That's what he wants to do. Shake hands, boys. Let's race. We drove 750 miles to get here, so. We all to win. Anybody that just can keep that smile and stay relaxed, you know what you're doing. Coming up on Pink's All Out. Oh! And later. That was a perfect three. Yeah, baby. it. Oh, come on, man. The heart pounding excitement of Pink's All Out in Memphis, Tennessee has been non stop. All day once the rain ended and the track was dry. But the excitement is about to turn to heartfelt disappointment in the last all-out race between Daniel Thaxton and Jerry Stafford. Oh! 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 Man, I wanted to see that race. We're done. 72G is the winner. That's the way it goes. I know, Jerry. That's the way it goes, bud. Oh, listen to that. That's never good. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. He broke his car. He came a long way. He's going home with $1,000. <laughs> and, folks, then there were four. Woo! I'm so excited, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I can't feel better. We got $1,000. This is a dream, a chance of a lifetime. Hey, things happen with a clutch car especially. When that clutch comes out, you never know what's going to happen. All right, Danny. Keep it on, keep it on. Just want to congratulate you. Go back. You're almost there. Four away. Good job, buddy. It's the all-out four. Thousands of dollars on the line, and these guys are one race away from being in the finals. Against my better judgment, I say we give every brand a shot. We're going to pair the S10 against the Mopar. Against the 66 Charger right. Mopar? Yes. OK, real quick. Bud, real quick. Hey, Bud, you want to go in for 500 bucks? Yes. All right, pull it out. Mike, you want to go in for 500 bucks? Let's go. Get the money ready. Got the money. Give him some Guys, money. 500 bucks, please. He's got it. All right, 500 right here. 500 right here with Bud. Guys, this is a shot for the finals. Shake hands. Good luck. And let's race. Come on, boys. Double time in your cars. Let's go. Mopar's got to get her done. Feel good? That's it. Feel good. Ready to go? Yes, sir. Let's do this. Bud man, put yes, it up there, bro. You said it all right there. Do your thing. So let's fire them up, boys. Come on. S10 Mopar, Michael on the left, Buddy in the right. Yeah! First to the finish line moves on, the loser goes home with nothing. Good. Game of the game. Oh, 
Final two. Got out on me, and he was out there pretty good ways. And it happens when you go bracket racing. It happens when you do one of these shows. All right, Michael. Great job. You did it. You made it into the all-out finals. Now it's going to be a hot lap two out of three. I'll explain more over there. Good job. Ford Mustang. Yep. Slash Chevrolet. Against the Red Mopar. Just Every brand's right. got a chance on this deal. All right. I like that. OK, boys. 500 bucks, 500 bucks. This is your shot in the finals. This is why you came here today. Shake hands, double time in your cars, and let's race. Good luck, boys. Come on. Just mash the gas and go. That's right. Do like you do. <laughs> <laughs> Both cars taking it back to North Carolina. Remember to shoot. OK. And remember, I'm going to roll you up a little bit before you kick your tires okay. over. Just be calm and smooth. That's oh, yeah. all you got to do, buddy. Right. Appreciate it. Chevy, it's Mopar, it's for one spot. Pass 72G in the right lane is good. He left on he his ass, baby. Killed it! He hit it perfect. Can't get any better. That's not really, not yet. It ain't all set in yet. Broke something in the motor on the big end. So I don't know yet. I seen I wasn't gonna catch him, and that's and I looked down, oil pressure was on zero, so yeah, I pissed. <laughs> Very <laughs> tried to do, hold it in though. Here comes the young one. Here comes the young gun. Yeah. Daniel, Pink's all out two final. A little bit relaxed right now, but still excited. I mean, I, I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm in a good zone right now. Hopefully the same we've been performing all night long. If we do that, we're good. Next on Pink's All Out. Now, will Daniel be able to tree rich like he's done all night? Will Mike be able to stack up against Daniel and Rich's arm drop? Let's find out. with 350 cars, 16, then eight, then four, now two. This is Pigs all out! Michael, this is what it's all about. It's coming down here. Tell me, how you feeling right now, man? I'm, I'm excited, it's great. S10, running great? Running good. And Daniel, the biggest stage in drag racing right now. And you made it here. How you feeling, man? Excited. Very Excited, very good. And the tree of the night. You have to hot lap your vehicle. It's the best two out of three. Mm -hmm. You're not going to stop anymore. You're going to come right back to the water box. But I understand you both have small fuel cells. So you need some time to throw some fuel in. That's it. Don't get out of your cars. Come right back to the water box. Both shut your cars down. Put the fuel in. We started with 350, boys. 16, 8, 4, and now it's you two. Congratulations for being the finalists of Pink's All Out. Shake hands, good luck, let's race. Ray, you had a good line. I just don't get nervous no more. I'm too excited to be nervous right now. Two runs. That's all we need. Will Daniel be able to tree rich like he's done all night? Will Mike be able to stack up against Daniel? Let's find out. With it running, all players running, it's going to keep everything charged up, even though you're drawing on it. All right, fire them up, boys. This is Pigs All Out! Yeah!
82G, left lane. It's good! Did he break? That could be a Valve Spring. I call him, bro. Man, I hope that thing's not hurt. When he left the starting line, in my mind, he had that race won. The truck totally surprised me. Daniel cannot do any more than he's doing. He's been driving like a madman. All right. What are you thinking right this very moment? I'm almost blank, really. Be almost honest blank. With you. I'm That's in good. amazement. Yeah, the shift noise is really hot, so she didn't shift right. Are you ready? You guys got the fuel in? Fire them up! This is a must win for the Mopar. It is one to zero. One, zero, you must win. It's all good, man. Yeah! Oh, it's just awfully hot. And I got a feeling the transmission's hot in it, and it probably didn't shift good. It was skipping second, and then you heard it. It went from first to third and bogged. Wow. Mike did a good job driving yeah. that truck. Yeah. Right, I got one. Yeah! 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 Had two bad passes right there. So. This is great, unbelievable, best day ever. Daniel, would you agree on that first pass that you were outperformed by Michael? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, and would you agree on the second pass that you were outperformed by Michael? Yeah. All right, well, then that's the case. Michael, it's my greatest pleasure to announce you Memphis Pink's All Out Champion, $18,000. Good job, buddy. Good job, all right. So, Daniel, let's go to you. What happened to the car? It just got too high. Uh, first shift, the first time we left, it missed second shift, so I had to shift by hand and everything. Mm -hmm. Second pass right there, we spun out the hole, so yeah. it was over from there. Michael, you just had that car so dialed in. Bob, why don't you take a second from the network perspective. Bob's the executive producer on the show. Why don't you tell us exactly your experience and then hand this gentleman $10,000. You guys put on a hell of a show. I am extremely happy to award you $10,000. Appreciate All right. it. Good job, Michael. Please, your crew can load up the Napa tool chest. It's fully loaded. And a great day in Memphis. Thank you, Memphis Motorsports Park. Thanks, Speed. And again, my amazing team, Brian Bassone, Clay Milliken, Willie B, Ken Harry, and Kale Christensen. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for being part of it. Great job, everybody. Thanks for being on Pink's All Out. Good night, okay? Yeah.